What's happening guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're diving into more craft beer. This time, not from Michigan. This is not a Michigan beer. And I probably won't be reviewing Michigan beers for a little bit here because, shout out to Kevin for dropping Parish Brewing Company, guys. One of the best breweries in the entire country. Parish Brewing Company out of Broussard, Louisiana. So Kevin is basically like part of the family, let's say. I'm, I'm married into part of his family, let's say it that way. He, since 2016 or 17, has been sending up beers from Parish Brewing Company uh, for me and my brother-in-law, and therefore we do a beer exchange. So I give him Michigan beers that he can't get, and then he gives us Louisiana beers that we couldn't get. So if you look back at the beginning of this channel, maybe like 2017, 2018 timeframe, I reviewed like, Ghost in the Machine, Atticus Atlas, some of the coolest beers at the time that money could buy, guys, in the New England style category. Um, it was awesome. It was like what made me somewhat fall in love with New England style IPA. So shout out to Parrish, shout out to Kevin. We're diving back into another beer drop from Kevin, again, from Parrish Brewing Company. And this one, I have never had. This is called Murphy Dippa. So something as a uh, paying homage to their uh, brewery dog, I believe. Didn't look into too much of this because I like to keep it an honest review. So to the side of the can, we have Double India Pale Ale brewed with Strata, Idaho 7, and Citra Hops, some of my favorites. Clocking in at 7.6% ABV. Again, Broussard, Louisiana. I could never get this without Kevin. So man, shout out to you. You're awesome, man. We just got back from Hoplot too and we had a couple good beers there. So um, it was a fun day. We're gonna cap this off by some Parish Brewing Company reviews. Canned on 424.23. So I had some newer beers from them. Um, this one's kind of one of the oldest actually. Today's July 5th time of recording. So not super old, but not super fresh. Um, let's dive in guys, that was a big intro. I was just giving you kind of a little bit of the back uh, story on how I get Louisiana beer. Kevin's an awesome guy and, and it helped me fall in love with craft beer. I mean, honestly, that's kind of part of the story here is that Parish Brewing Company is awesome. I enjoy everything they have. So we're gonna see if the Murphy Dippa is another hitter, guys. But we'll see, this did travel a long way, so I'm, I'm not gonna say it was perfectly stored. It might have been a little bit warm. Uh, we'll see, but this is definitely a haze bomb. Looks a little bit thicker than 7.6. Maybe looks like an 8.5% beer the way it poured. It's It's got some transparency when I was pouring it, but um, did uh, thicken up quite a bit in the glass. Uh, we have a nice little bit of particulate floating in there and you have this creamy head sitting on top. Uh, very foamy, very sticky, and um, you guys can see it. It, it looks like a, a an awesome New England style or double New England. The thing is, I loved these beers so much back in the day because there was nothing quite like them. It was like the time M43 was getting popular. Um, will I love Louisiana beer the same now? Now that, now that the year is 2023, I don't know. Um, I have not had this one. I'm gonna re-review um, Ghost in the Machine as well and some gnarly barley stuff, but today, Murphy Dippa, never had it. Let's see, let's go to an aroma. Yeah. Wow. So, fair bit of dankness, definitely some citrus and tropical notes. Um, it, it's it's like dank passion fruit, man. It, it's got this nice passion fruit thing. Um, Kevin even told me, I, th I think that um, the way that they brew this, it's kind of like focusing on the passion fruit category. He did mention that. So I think that this is definitely a fair representation of that idea. It does kind of smell that way and it smells like fruity, candy, dank passion fruit with mangoes, papayas, some pink grapefruit, some peaches. I mean, it, it smells pretty awesome, it smells very candied, it smells juicy, but again, that passion fruit, uh, slight dankness thing, really hanging onto the nostrils. Um, let's see guys, Murphy Dippa. See if it's good, cheers. Diving back in, card was full on the camera. Yeah. This is an absolute passion fruit bomb, um, slightly candied, um, still light for being 7.6% ABV. Like you can feel there's like a nice honey sweetness through the middle, like a little bit of that malty kind of complex. Um, but it's really hanging on to the tropical notes, like really candied mango. Uh, this papaya peach thing really comboed together uh, very well. Uh, but this dank passion fruit thing is the most pronounced thing on this beer. It's, it's candied, yet it stays dry the way it finishes on the back end. There's a slight bit of bitterness, but 
it's it's gone. Um, it's it's buttery. It's velvety. Um, nice mouthfeel. I wouldn't say it's like creamy. Um, it's got a slight bit of acidity to it, but also. Um, it just flows really well, like it's buttery, I guess it's velvety, it's not yet uh, decadent the way it flows, but it's just got a very nice, easily uh, adaptable mouthfeel that goes down really smoothly. Um, passion fruit bomb for days. It, it's it's um, put plain and dry, guys. It, I think that was the aim on this beer, and they, in, in my opinion, that's what it tastes like. It, and, and it's passion fruit can be like a very overwhelming fruit quality, this one comes off very nicely, a uh, very um, uh, well integrated into the malt bill. It just feels natural and normal the way it was put in. Um, nothing forced, nothing artificial. It just feels like it flows in a natural way, and I think that that's what makes this beer very enjoyable for being 7.6 percent. Yeah, there's like this dried uh, complex on the back end too. Like it, it feels like it's gonna be so candied and sweet and yet it finishes very nice and dry. Um, and, and it just makes for intense drinkability. I will say the drinkability on this is fantastic from Parrish. I guess I shouldn't be shocked. Uh, and, and the bitterness is so low. It just is a very soft 7.6% beer with a nice candied fruit forwardness. Uh, yet it, it's not overly sweet, it's not overly malty, uh, and it's not overly bitter. So it's kind of just like the best of everything, but it is uh, not the most complex beer in the world. Like it, it's got these layers that are easily identifiable, which I like. So it, some people might think it's a pro or, or it's a con because there's not more layer to it, but I'm identifying that, that it's got this like lemon zest kind of quality, got this nice pink grapefruit in there, uh, and then it just goes into pure honey sweet, passion fruit, velvety candiedness. Um, and then that kind of subtly goes away and then you're left with some dry mangoes, some mango skin, um, some papaya, some peach, um, just dryness on the back end that just alleviates the beer uh, of the sweetness. It's just a really nice beer, really nice beer. That's all I can say at 7.6. Well, just a little bit of peach juice. Like it's just got this subtle sweetness uh, that is countered so well on the back end. A little bit of that pine, little bit of that piney um, bitterness, but it, it just the bitterness goes away, and you're left with the pine resin uh, in the in the simplest, best way possible uh, with delicate ease on the palate. That's it's a good beer, man. That's 7.6, uh, and that's coming from a guy who now has had so many haze bombs that are world class. Uh, I, I'd say Parrish still in 2023 making very good quality out of Louisiana. I'm a Michigan guy, of course. I'm partial to Michigan beers, but we make some of the best. I'd say we're like a top five, top three beer state in the whole country. I'm just being completely fair and honest. That's just the truth. Um, uh, but this coming from Louisiana, still really good from Parish Brewing Company, guys. So yeah, I'll leave it there. Uh, rating? It, is it mind-boggling? No, but it's 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 enough to be memorable because it's soft, it's easy at 7.6, and it's got that nice passion fruit um, accent over it that just really um, makes for a very well drinking beer. Mm. Yeah, still a little bit of pine on the back end. Uh, I'm just gonna go with a four point. One nine out of five. That's what I'm saying today. Four one nine out of five, guys. It's been the Murphy Dippa from Louisiana. Uh, thanks so much, Kevin. We'll be reviewing more of your beer. Uh, I'm over and out. Cheers.